This lab was designed to have students investigate the factors that affect the maximum safe speed with which a car can go around the turn. When students hit the begin button, they will be brought to the test track. The test track can be changed in terms of the surfaces by clicking on the description of the surfaces. So we could have dry road new tires, old tires, rain and new tires, rain and old tires, ice with average tires, wet ice with average tires, snow, gravel, and back to dry roads. Okay, um, each time students pick a different surface and tires, they get a different coefficient of friction. Okay, students will also be able to change the mass of the car in either large increments or smaller increments. They'll be able to adjust the speed of the car in either large increments or smaller increments. And students will be able to change the size of the curve, again, in either large increments or smaller increments. Okay, students obviously should be um, adjusting only one parameter at a time. And what they're looking to do is find the maximum safe speed for going around the turn. So with wet ice and average tires, it's going to be a pretty precarious situation. We hit the start button, and at only 9 meters per second, we can see that our car is slipping off of the roadway. Once students realize the car is in an unsafe predicament, they would then want to adjust until they can find the safe speed for this car. So we'll bring it down to 5 meters per second. Again, this time we need to have a little patience because the car is going rather slowly. But we can see already that it looks like the car is going to be successful going around this turn at 5 meters per second. We could then try it at 6. And again, we saw that 9 was unsafe, so we're trying to find the last safe speed the car could go around the turn. 6 seems good. Seven meters per second. Looks good. The car is able to make it around the turn. And then eight meters per second. The car, you can see, is slipping off the roadway. So for this trial, the students would make sure they wrote down that seven meters per second was the last safe speed they could go around the turn. Students would then change a parameter and see how would this change, this maximum safe speed, when we increase the radius of the turn. And they would go through that same procedure. They would find the last safe speed the car could go around the turn. Students would collect maybe between five or ten different radiuses, and they would graph speed versus radius. They could change the mass and see if that has any effect on the safe speed. And then they could adjust to different, um, to different road surfaces and see how their graph would change on a different surface. Alternatively, students can set a speed. So let's say they were traveling at a speed of 20 meters per second. They could adjust and see at what radius they would go off the turn. Okay, they could then change to a different speed and again see the last safe radius. So this program could be used in a couple of different ways. Again, we're looking at the relationship between the maximum speed and radius or mass or road surface.